Hello everybody. Today I'm here with another team showcase and today we're going to be doing the Sensational 6 team. So we're going to get to supercharge all of the Mickey Mouse characters here. Other than Daisy, I guess. But that's alright. Um, I'm not going to go through all their animations like I used to do. Uh, I want to change that up because I feel like it's kind of just a waste of time. I unlocked her... I unlocked that. I probably should try to level her up before uh, doing any more of her red skill, but I should at least unlock it here. So we've got her at four stars already. And we'll be doing a showcase of the other three, of Void and Snow White with her too. But I thought this one would be more interesting to start with. So let's go. We'll definitely be able to beat chapter 17, but we're just going to start here. So, we're not going to be able to include Pete either, but instead of calling this like a Mickey Mouse Part 2, uh, instead I'm just going to be calling it the Sensational 6, since that is pretty accurate too. Um, I know we're kind of missing Pluto, but he is in Minnie's moveset. So we'll see him very little, but we will see him. I guess it'll be easy to find them because they have the lightning bolt next to them, right? I definitely already missed some, yeah. Um, there's Goofy. Mickey must be up more. Or not. I don't have him at red, so how did I miss him? Feel so dumb. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure all of you saw that. Alright, so here they all are. I think they look pretty great. Um, there, it feels like there are a few like clashes in the style though, I would say. Mickey and Minnie are pretty perfect next to each other. I'd actually say Donald and Daisy work pretty well t next to each other too. Donald is a little different in the shading, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty similar. And then Goofy, I would say, is more closely tied to Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, for some reason the ducks just ended up looking a little different. I know for Donald it's the DuckTales thing, but... Uh, I like all the personality that's shown through each of them though. Alright, so let's see what happens here. This is really just like the dream team and it's taken four years for it to finally show up here. But, uh, it's just very, I don't know what the word is, gratifying, rewarding. It feels right to be able to have them all here. We decimated that level, so let's move up a couple chapters immediately. We'll see how chapter 20 works. Goofy's not doing great, so that's an immediate indication, but it might just be the difficulty of the specific level. So right away, we're seeing a lot of Daisy's moves here. She's losing her temper more than Donald, honestly. But I like that the couples are kind of standing next to each other, and then Goofy is in the front, or I think he starts out in the middle, too. We'll have to look again, but if that is the case, that's very nice, even if it wasn't intentional. No, Donald's kind of in the middle, but he ends up moving up later. And then I've seen Goofy kind of take the front. Yeah, so I like how it looks right here, where the couples are in the back and then Goofy's up in front and sacrificing himself. That's kind of funny. If we ever got like Max Goof, he's got to stand right up next to Goofy in the front. So let's try this one in chapter 21. Maybe chapter 21's the place to be. We can't go. Well, we seem to be doing pretty good here. I do wonder how much Daisy being red is affecting this. Alright, Elsa was able to get a few of us. 
Uh, so we've got the two girls with their purses here, which allows us to get Pluto. And Daisy got that one attack where she swings her purse around. I'd like to see that. I don't know if I've seen it yet. There we go. And then, yeah, she, she gets angry. But I know she has a few different... Somewhat angry or... Um, like disappointed looks. I'm mostly just fo focusing on Daisy because I've never seen her in action before. But I think the main thing is just how well she fits in with the animations of everybody else. And I love the how colorful it is too. It it all it reminds me of the Inside Out team in terms of that, where you kind of just as your eyes move through the the different characters, you know immediately who you're looking at based just on the color. Donald's so blue, she's so pink. The Mickey and Minnie blend in a little bit, but Minnie's got the very bold white and red, which is much more obvious. Daisy's been getting some shield. I'm guessing she gives that to herself. We keep doing good, but the, uh, Goofy's not doing the greatest. I know he's our front runner, but that's kind of a problem to be losing him every round. Like we don't have a good person to protect him. I guess he's just supposed to be stronger and protect himself, but Goofy's our main booster and stuff because his dance gives a lot of buffs for our team. Uh, but it would be nice if like Daisy was able to give him shield too. Oh, well, he does have a shield here, so I don't know who's exactly giving that. Or maybe he just gives it to himself. I don't know, but we did pretty good on that one. I keep moving up here, but I'm sure we're gonna start getting into some trouble. But then we've got Mickey and Minnie in the back who have a lot of different ranged stuff. Mickey feels the most like all-encompassing in terms of References to all the stuff he's been in. They really captured a bunch of different looks for Mickey. And then for the rest of them, they kind of just picked one thing and went crazy with it. The best examples are obviously Goofy and Pete. Who Pete is all about bowling and Goofy's all about dancing. Where they certainly had those aspects in some forms of the characters, but it's not really a way to describe the character in full. Pete is not known for his bowling. Um, and there's so many different references they could have pulled from. But in terms of like Mickey and Daisy, other than having all the moves go around their purses, I think they capture their personalities pretty good too. Again, some more references to some of the stuff like Mickey has would be cool. Like if they all, for the Victor animations, turn into that black and white form, that would be really cool, but obviously that's a lot to ask. But I think that's just an interesting idea, but obviously Steamboat really is the the most recognizable one for that kind of thing. Yeah, I just, they seem to work pretty good together, honestly. Like, we've been winning them all. I don't think we actually lost any, we just have lost a few teammates here and there. Which is honestly probably a good sign for a good team. Like in this one, we all did great. There's really no risk of us losing any health. So let's go up to chapter 24 and see if we just straight up lose. Again, we might just get to a level that we're incapable of beating, which is kind of unfair to look at. But just curious what might happen here. We lost Mickey and uh, Goofy first. Donald seems to live pretty long in these, I, I feel like I've noticed. I think that happened in the previous one we did too. Daisy held her ground. She's kind of become the front row runner now. So that makes sense that Minnie's kind of getting away with it, but she got pulled forward there from Woody. I keep forgetting about Pluto, but he does come in here every once in a while. I don't think we're going to win this one, but... Well, here's our chance. Donald just keeps getting frozen. He's going to die at some point here. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna save you the suffering for much longer. Let's let's just try one more here, 
Just curious. We did lose that one, so it's probably a good chance we lose this one too. We already lost Koofy. <laughs> but maybe we'll keep the rest of them. I don't know. Maybe their skills are tied to this one. I think if they were to make any team work well together, it should be this team. They had a lot of time in between each character to make them the most compatible with each other as possible, if that makes sense. Like, okay, the Mickey Mouse team could use a tank, now we're going to add Pete. Now we need someone who is more of a healer, let's add Daisy, even though I know those aren't really their roles. I'm just saying that that could have been the case, where they're like, we could have filled each of these roles with each of the characters, and I think it would have fit pretty well. But it's it's weird in some ways that Goofy's one of the main um, support characters. And then obviously Minnie and Daisy have some supportive stuff too. I saw some healing going on with Minnie. Uh, and then Mickey and Donald being mainly attackers makes the most sense too. Same with Pete if you were to bring him in. Um, let's just do like one or two more. I at least think it's fun to play as all of them. And again, it's been four years pretty much. I'd say, well yeah, even since the beginning game, it's just like, when is Mickey coming? And it, as soon as Mickey comes, I'm just like, well, now we gotta get all the rest of them. It really felt incomplete to not have them all. And it really was sad last an anniversary when we didn't get Daisy because I, I kind of just felt like I was waiting for her at that point. And then it took a whole nother year until we got her. I'm sure some people like Fozzie, but to not get Daisy at that point was really sad because it didn't seem like any other time of the year was going to be the right time to add her, but it was very nice of them to get it to set up so that she could be added for this anniversary at least. So we can do a team like this, and I hope all you guys try this out too. Like, if you really like the Mickey Mouse characters, um, try making a team out of them, you know? Probably couldn't hurt. Even just getting them all to red or something might be cool to see how they work. And if you like how it's going, then just keep going. Or if you like some specific traits of a, one of the characters, you can do that too. Daisy's pretty new, so she might be overpowered in some ways. I don't know. Let's just do this one last one. A little bit of an easier fight. Hopefully everybody can live. I'm talking to you, Goofy. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my showcase of the Sensational Six. Uh, team. I hope you appreciate that I took out the animations at the beginning. No one's ever really complained about it, but I don't think a lot of people watch the video anyway. <laughs> but I don't think it was worth anyone's time. Uh, I show those all when I unlock them anyway, so not a big deal. Uh, let's just look at them all again as I close out. But yeah, it's just cool to have them all here. I enjoyed showcasing them, it's just, again, the, the color scheme is the main thing that I like about it. It's really nice to, to look at, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.